Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I have been able to post a video so I wanted to bring you guys along and let you know what has been all been going on in my life and in the garden. second round of sunflower seeds because I've been succession planting my sunflower seeds and stuff like that. Last year's garden wasn't very much of a garden. Um, I actually probably got into it uh, maybe till June and then I stopped. It was just a lot of stuff going on. I had a lot of failures right from the beginning. And it just, it, it, I struggled with it a lot. You know, we had that hailstorm that came in and damaged a lot of my seedlings and I had to baby them. And it just was hard for me to recover from that. So Coleus got beat. I don't even think I planted any pepper plants last year. I may have gotten like one row of tomatoes planted. I did end up getting quite a few flowers planted into the garden last year before the weather just kind of crapped on me and made it to where it was just not feasible for me to do gardening. Oh, um, here you are. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the back Right. This isn't much, but it's enough to get started on a beautiful bouquet. Oh my god, it smells so good. So I did get to sign up on a farmer's market and sell some bouquets and I absolutely had the best time. Last year with the flowers was my very first year to do picking flowers and I was pretty successful. It was my first year to get um, peonies. So 
absolutely love that. Got to go and pick flowers out of my raised beds in my main garden. And then I did a lot of foraging for like the fillers and stuff. Because I hadn't really planted much. I think the only thing that I got planted out in the main garden or the flower garden last year was Lysianthus. Which I actually brought you guys along with that. And <laughs> believe it or not, you guys have my Lysianthus overwintered and it's actually growing it's putting on new growth uh who knew that lysianthus could be well not actually a perennial but could overwinter here in oklahoma i guess we had a mild enough um season winter that it didn't really like freeze and die off i know that i would have been really successful if I had stayed with it, but I tend to um, struggle with having a little bit of a perfectionist. So if things aren't done how I envision it, or they're not done on time or a certain way, I tend to kind of stress out about it, and which leads to me burning out. So, and that's literally what happened: is that I was had been struggling. Because a lot of my seedlings had got damaged in the hailstorm. And it was my very first year of flower gardening. I didn't really know what I was doing. And I was overwhelmed. And, you know, my daughter and my grandson come and lived with us. Which was not a problem. We absolutely loved having them here. Of course, he has become quite the little gardener with Grandma. He loved Thank you. You gonna get it both hands? You gonna get it? Thank you. That one not coming up. Uh oh. Thank you. Thank you. to um, be out in the garden with me picking uh, weeds and stuff like that. He's really good at it. He's quite the helper and I cannot wait to see what his gardening future is going to look like and I hope that he is going to be able to be along with me helping me in the garden for days to come. But I also got a new grandbaby this year in January. I know, rabbit hole, but I kind of wanted to kind of brag on my grandbabies. Um, my daughter found out she was having a little girl. And I was, I think, a little bit overexcited when we found out that we were going to have a little girl. Alright! Is it pink or blue? We have been quite overrun with boys um, throughout the years and so I was really really excited knowing that we were going to have another little girl in the family and meaning third generation of women. My daughter ended up having a baby girl on January 27th and we named her Lucille May. I got to be there when she was born. She's absolutely beautiful, stole this grandma's heart. 
didn't think I would be able to love anything as much as I did Junior or even as much as I loved Junior. Shortly after she was born, about two weeks old, Lucille started having some health issues and got put in the hospital and has been in and out of the hospital with um, some feeding issues and um, aspiration and stuff like that to where we had to end up about the third time of being in the hospital we've had to put in a feeding tube um, actually Wednesday we will be checking into the hospital and she will be having the feeding tube from the nose put into her stomach so lots and lots of prayers for Lucille but she's doing a lot a lot better she's actually growing and hitting some milestones let me tell you when she smiles at you it will steal your heart she has brought many many tears to me and her mama I hope you guys enjoyed seeing last year's garden and kind of snippets of things that have been actually been going on in my life um, we have a lot of stuff going on in the garden this year and I'm really excited to bring you guys along we are still going to be doing the picking flowers and this year I think that I've actually come up with the plan that I'm going to be able to manage it all. I do have my son and his girlfriend helping me. So I really hope just that little bit of help instead of putting it all on me that I'm going to be able to get through it. And just quit stressing. Quit stressing about not hitting the goals or things not being done the way that they're supposed to be doing. Supposed to be. And quit burning out. <laughs> <laughs> that is my goal this year. Um, I just want to sit back and enjoy the process. I want to sit back and enjoy the the babies when they're here. You know, there's been days that I have actually planned a whole day of gardening. To actually only planting about 12 lilies in the ground and then having the rest of the days that we are playing on the go-kart or flying kites or just sitting around talking and really enjoying each other. So this year I'm going to really, really try hard to say, you know what? I am about a month and a half behind on a lot of things and I'm okay with that. I have already enjoyed the process, just seeing every little milestone, every little step that I'm hitting and getting done and progressing in my garden. And it's okay if things are going to be late because eventually it's all going to grow. So it doesn't all have to be done on time at the same time to where I have this elaborate plan that comes together in my garden is the way that I envision it. It is a process it's never going to be done in one day or in one month so I have learned that I am going to sit back and simply enjoy the process of my garden and watch it grow and evolve and I cannot wait until I can bring you guys along with me hopefully we can do this year's gardening story together and just see how it plays out and hopefully in the end we will have a lot that we have learned and experienced I really would like to tell you guys thank you for coming along with me and supporting my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, God bless. I only end up planting about 12 <laughs> spit. <laughs>